Small Arms and Light Weapons, SALW, is a term used in arms control protocols to refer to two main classes of weapons. Small arms, handheld small caliber firearms, usually consisting of handguns, rifles, carbines, shotguns, manual, semi-automatic, burst mode, and full automatic weapons and man-portable machine guns. Light weapons, includes a wide range of medium caliber and explosive ordnance, including man-portable and vehicle-mounted anti-personnel, anti-tank and anti-aircraft rockets, missiles, grenade launchers, rocket launchers, landmines, anti-aircraft guns, mortars, hand grenades and rocket-propelled grenades, RPGs, and so on. Definition by International Legal Conventions According to the United Nations Office on Drugs and Crime, the International Framework on Firearms is composed of three main instruments, the Firearms Protocol, the United Nations Program of Action to Prevent, Combat and Eradicate the Illicit Trade in Small Arms and Light Weapons in All Its Aspects, Program of Action, or POA, and the International Instrument to Enable States to Identify and Trace, in a Timely and Reliable Manner, Illicit Small Arms and Light Weapons, International Tracing Instrument, or ITI where only the firearms protocol is legally binding. The ITI, adopted by the United Nations General Assembly on December 8, 2005, defines small arms and light weapons as any man-portable lethal weapon that expels or launches, is designed to expel or launch, or may be readily converted to expel or launch a shot, bullet, or projectile by the action of an explosive, excluding antique small arms and light weapons or their replicas. Antique small arms and light weapons and their replicas will be defined in accordance with domestic law. In no case will antique small arms and light weapons include those manufactured after 1899. A. Small arms are, broadly speaking, weapons designed for individual use. They include, inter alia, revolvers and self-loading pistols, rifles and carbines, submachine guns assault rifles and light machine guns. b. Light weapons are, broadly speaking, weapons designed for use by two or three persons serving as a crew, although some may be carried and used by a single person. They include, inter alia, general purpose or universal machine guns, medium machine guns, heavy machine guns, rifle grenades, underbarrel grenade launchers and mounted grenade launchers, portable anti-aircraft guns, portable anti-tank guns, recoilless rifles, man-portable launchers of anti-tank missile and rocket systems, man-portable launchers of anti-aircraft missile systems, and mortars of a caliber of less than 100 mm. Such arms control policies and treaties are focused on international arms trafficking, importation and export, and in the standardization of laws, protocols, and sharing of law enforcement information and best practices across nations to prevent illicit arms sales. They also focus on terrorism, arms proliferation as a humanitarian concern, disarmament in the face of extreme violence, and cases of ameliorating anarchy, civil war, and international conflict. SALW provisions are generally not oriented towards imposing or enforcing domestic national or local legislation of legitimate gun ownership or sale. UN SALW Control Efforts Small arms and light weapons are used in conflicts around the world, causing injury and death. Small arms control was first broached by UN Resolution A-RES-46-36, December 1991 which was expanded upon by a res 50 70 January 1996. This latter resolution mandated a panel of experts to research the type of small arms and light weapons being used in the world's conflicts and to study which weapons might apply to fall under an arms control regime. The recommendations of expert reports returned to the General Assembly, a 52 298 1997 and A-54-258, 1999, led to a July 2001 United Nations Conference on the Illicit Trade in Small Arms, with a follow-up in July 2006. On September 26, 2013 the UN Security Council passed Resolution 2117, 
which urged nations to remain committed to small arms embargoes and SALW control protocols. Work on SALW via the United Nations is coordinated by the Office for Disarmament Affairs, ANOTA, though the UN Coordinating Action on Small Arms, CASA, mechanism, which comprises 21 UN departments and agencies working on different aspects of small arms and light weapons control. The United Nations Institute for Disarmament Research, UNIDER, carries out research in arms control affairs and has published many articles and books related to small arms and light weapons. On April 2, 2013, the UN General Assembly voted overwhelmingly to adopt the Arms Trade Treaty, ATT to govern the legal international trade in many types of conventional weapons, from warships and aircraft to small arms and light weapons. A basic obligation of the treaty is that all states' parties should establish or maintain controls in the area. In this way, the treaty also helps the international community to address unregulated or illegal trade in conventional weapons. The treaty opened for signature on June 3, 2013. To date, Two-thirds of UN member states have signed the treaty, 130 states, and 72 have ratified it. The treaty entered into force on December 24, 2014. Other SALW Regimes and Control Organizations Many other related governmental bodies and non-governmental organizations, NGOs, also work on SALW control. Major examples being INSA, Safer World, and the Control Arms Campaign. Regional and sub-regional organizations working on SALW control include the African Union, ECAS, the Economic Community of West African States, ECAWAS, Southern African Development Community, Andean Community, CARICOM, MERCOSUR, Organization of American States, OAS, European Union, the Organization for Security and Cooperation in Europe, ASEAN, the League of Arab States, and the Pacific Islands Forum. Please subscribe and thanks for watching.